Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, back again with another response video, this time. I'm responding to some cucks, as usual, on Reddit. The title of this post, My girlfriend's lies have pushed me away and shut me down emotionally. Things just don't feel the same anymore. But you know what doesn't feel the same? Undead Chronic's channel. It doesn't. It's changed, Chronic. I thought you were going to be... Only roast in left wing cocks. I thought you would only roast whammon. No, I left the manosphere. I'm now part of the roastosphere. Yeah, it's just like kind of one big fire. Uh, if, if you guys want to follow me, come ahead. It's pretty much 100% friendly fire, though. Um, maybe I'll make a roast of Ruby the Party Frog. <laughs> I just get. I can't. How could I roast such smooth green skin? It's beautiful. But if you guys want to support the roast sphere, if you guys want to support anti cuck action, anti cuck, uh, consider donating to paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Now, I'm not going to try. Well, here's what we're going to do here. Usually, I like to go for 15, I'll go 10, 15 minutes, one of these little short posts, but I'm not going to do any false extending. I'm just going to do an honest reaction. So, this might be a short video. My girlfriend's lies have pushed me away. Let's see what she lied about, Bredas. Girlfriend lied, now things don't feel the same anymore. I'm 24 and she's 24. Well, at least she's not older than him. But, I mean, if you don't, if she's lied to you repeatedly and you don't feel emotionally attached and she's only 24 and you're 24, this is like going to return a lottery, a losing lottery ticket for free. You know, you can literally just dump her and just go for an 18, 19 year old. Go for a 20 year old, whatever. He says, my girl and I have been together two years and we have been raising her child. Ah, uh, I can't even get one paragraph into one of these fucking Reddit posts without some cockatry. Ah, uh, just, ah. Uh. Now I don't feel like I'm gonna be walking around a bunch of used socks in a 13 year old's room. And they're not paired. It's just ran like a black sock over there and a white sock. Over there. I know what those have been used for. I know exactly what this dude's chick has been used for. I literally look at a chick with a kid, at a single mother. I look at it just like an old jizzed up sock in your Bruda's room. That's literally what it is. That's all they are. Something that another dude jizzed in. Are you interested in obtaining and or protecting items or people that other dudes had jizzed in? I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, your own, you can't, I can't answer that question for you. You know, if you really want to protect and give your life to a woman who's been jizzed in by 30, 40, 50, 60 dudes, that's your prerogative. I'm just going to call you a cuck. Okay. I'm going to call you a cuck. I'm going to laugh at you. Now to those people who would wife up a used up hoe bag, they scream at chronicle day. You're an incel. You don't get any puny tea. At least I get busted up puny tea. I'm an incel, I'm a misogynist, racist, whatever it is. They just throw labels at me. If they really thought I was an incel, racist, whatever, they wouldn't even pay attention to what I was saying. It's because when I make fun of them for cucking, they know for a fact, they hear the masculine voice and they think, oh, yeah, Jeff the football player got to smash my wife's pussy when she was 17, 18, 19. I never got to do that. They know it's the truth. But they're virtuous and like, you're an insult. It's, it's cope. It's literally just cope. You're coping at the fact that there's men more sexually successful than you. I'm just, try, I'm just trying to make you guys understand what hoes are. You know, it's just really this what I'm trying to do. But he says, me and my girl have been, ra have been together for two years. I've been raising her child for three years as the father left him shortly after their birth. Oh, ain't that, ain't, isn't that just precious? This woman was so high value that the man who impregnated her, he left his kid. He literally abandoned his child to get away from that woman. Hilarious. Or was it that he never wanted a kid? He just wanted to cream and that this chick was like, well, at least I'll find a beta, a simp to take care of my bastard. And that's literally what happened. She found a beta to take care of her bastard. He says, I have not been full-time parenting, but I've been supporting her throughout our relationship and doing a lot more than 24 year old guys would do in my opinion, emotionally and physically. Um, you're a cuck. It's not, it's not good. If you, okay, if in any world it was acceptable for a man to engage with a single mother, marry a single mother, it's like if a, if, if, if chronic demands 100% submission from a 18 year old virgin, I'm literally, 
10 billion percent submission from a single mother all right but she's been lying to him and she, whatever so he's literally been cucking around so and this is what happened this is what it is this dude is desperate for puniti in fact part of me just starts to think that you know due to date single mothers they date single mothers because they can't get any other bitches right now i'm saying they can't i'm saying go to the gym get better bitches that's all i'm saying but these dudes they don't want to go to the gym they say it's all in the jaw that's some incel gym cope they say that you know what is it a galt all gyms are like that that's not true that's not true not all gyms not all gyms like that bro well let's keep going I have grown close with her and her boy, and we generally do love each other. I disagree. I think that women, this chick is really good. At, women are really good at showing men that they, they're making men feel like they're loved. That's really what it is. You feel like you're loved. But if this chick loved you, she wouldn't lie to you. If this chick really loved you, and honestly, if she really loved you, she would have had a kid with you and not with another dude. Ain't that a red pill? You know what? I bet she had a kid with that first dude within like the first month she met him. She got knocked up. Yet, she's not letting you knock her up. Huh, I wonder why. Oh, I bet she lets you open your wallet up real big at the dinner table, little cuck boy. I bet that happens every weekend or every week. He says, she has lied to me a few times over the course of our relationship about talking to ex flings and boyfriends she had years ago. Okay. This is this chick was a turbo sloop. She's probably a track. She's probably hot as a teenager, 16, 17, gave it up around to a bunch of chads and then eventually had a kid with one expecting him to stay around. But he didn't because guess what? Nobody wants to commit to a hoe. Not even the dudes that fuck hoes. I fuck hoes all the time. I never commit to hoes. So she got pumped and dumped by a train of alphas and she's still talking to them. This simp is this dude is so He's so low on the scale of self-respect. He's like, he was out of the post, my girlfriend's lying to me. She's lying to me, pushed me away emotionally. What you should have said is, my single mother girlfriend is cheating on me with previous bad boys. And you're still just gonna sit there and take it. Simp McGee, this is stupid. He says, that the lies have made me doubt her in our relationship. She's literally cheating on you, bro. I don't even need to hear anything else. If she talked to the exes over two years, she got boinked by the exes. One guy in particular who I've seen has sent her flirty messages, who she told me she used to be in love with a few years ago, and they slept with each other numerous times, but they were never officially together. There it is. This woman sleeps around. Her puniti is worthless. It's useless. No, seriously. She gives it up to everybody. She's like, I love you. I love you. Please. This is, I love it. It's hilarious. Whores don't understand what love is. So when a, when a whore tells me she loves me, I'm just, I'm there giving her dick. <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's so funny. I think of my boy that was still up at the altar, dated his bitch for eight years. I think about another boy, Lily, his bitch killed his brother. Okay. Bitches tell me they know about love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you. I love what I'm giving you sex and puniti. You see, the love from a slut is worthless. It's worthless. Seriously. She because she can tell herself she loves you, and then like after a couple of weeks, she wants new dick. See when a virgin tells you she loves you, and then you're the only sexual partner she had, at least there's like an inkling of a chance that you can believe that. At least that she'll be loyal. But this chick, she's like giving multiple exes, multiple people. She says, I, fuck, I let him fuck me. I let him smash me multiple times. And I loved him, but they were never officially together. Do you know why? Because your girlfriend was a hoe. She thought she could get relationships by Puniti. It don't work like that, bitch. You see, low value men, low value males, they hear this a lot. You don't get f you don't get sex by being nice to a girl. It's not like you use nice tokens to get sex. You know, you just can't be nice and expect to get puniti. And I agree with that. Uh, that's what high value men have to deal with. Just because I give you dick, just because you give me pussy, does not mean you are entitled to a relationship. Hold on there, babe. My body, my choice. It's not like it's like there's a card you got to punch a number of times. Oh, I rode him. I swallowed him. I fucked him in public. I squirted out of his window and hit Ribby the party frog in the face at an intersection. Sorry, Ribby. And then you get a relationship. No, I don't work like that. You see, hoes don't, hoes don't get that. You don't get that. You don't get to choose that. 
Um, your choice is basically the most important choice that a chick has is right before the first penis enters her. And once she decides to let the first penis enter her, well, for a lot of traditional dudes and a lot of for the war band, it's just not wife material. Now, that doesn't mean we can't date. That doesn't mean I can't show up to your friend's house and talk to her and hold her hand at night. Don't worry, we didn't do anything physical. Oh, I would never do that to you. I would never do that. Just like you would never cheat on any of the men you dated. That's right. Ain't that right? That's right. Um, but back to the story, he says, this tells me their relationship was purely sexual and has always bothered me because them talking doesn't make sense if they haven't seen each other for years because she's cheating on you. She's cheating on you. I told her to drop me or him and she chose me and then spoke to him behind my back three more times and then lied about it. It's your fault, dude. It's your fault. You're still with her. You're dating a hoe. You, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. They are, they are incapable of being a housewife. They can't perform the duties. They don't even think it's respectable. It's, it's hilarious. Feminists hate the idea of being a stay-at-home mother. They're literally spitting on 99.99999% of their ancestors. I don't care. But let the feminists reap what they sow. Dry, dusty eggs. Because what do feminists produce? Hoes like this. Now, this hoe is past her expiration date. You talk about burning a candle on both ends. This chick had so many Chadwicks in her. She just looked like a fireball. Yeah, they're hot. No, they're really hot. As soon as these chicks hit 18, Karana picks them up, drives them around town, and throws them to the next dude. They're a lot of fun. But it's catch and release program, you know? It's like... um. It's like you're out fishing. It's not in season yet. You just got to catch and release for these holes. Hopefully you're releasing the holes. I'm not catching any STDs though. He says, I told her to drop him on me and she chose me, but then she lied to me. He says, my ability to trust her has been affected and it's making me unhappy because I still love her. You love her as in you sacrifice for her because you think you are worthless. Okay. Either you are actually worthless or there is a disconnect between what you can do and achieve and what you accept in your relationship. Because I'll tell you what, dude. If you make forty, fifty thousand dollars a year, and you're like, I don't know, go to the gym twice a week, not even jack, just that's the bare minimum. You can get a foreign bride that is not even a foreign bride. Any chick in America, million times more useful than this. Because this chick's a cheating single mother. Cheating single mothers need to be banned from the dating marketplace. I'm sick of them. He says. It's affecting me in such a negative way. I feel like we need to break up, but I still don't know how to do it. I'm done. I'm leaving. Have fun with your bastard. I'm sick of getting cheated on. I'm going to find a real woman. Just tell her to find a real woman. Yeah. Say, I want to find a real feminine woman who will give me kids, who will be sexually attracted to me. Because what she is here, she's sexually attracted to your wallet, bro. She's not attracted to you. Again, I already know what this dude looks like. It's pathetic. This whole thing is just sad. My ability to trust has been affected. Yo, really? I wonder how much schlong she has to take before it's broken. I feel like we need to break up. I don't know how to do it. I feel like I'm so deep. I don't know how to break up with her once for all and walk away from her. She's become my life and my best friend. Please help. Yeah. If you think a woman's your entire life, you're fucked. You're fucked. And she's going to leave you or you're going to leave her and that's going to, or she's going to upset you or you're going to depend for on her for everything. And honestly, like that's not even fair for the chick. Like if you... You can't base your own happiness and sense of whether your life's worth living on the other person. Not fair on the chick, not fair on yourself. But Sint McGee here, he's 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 love locked. You know, like bulls will lock horns. This dude is like locking his horns to the bedpost while his chick gets railed out. It's gross. It's been unchronic, guys. Take it easy. Unchronic here. On a wall with my boys, cold slippers, glass of liquor, I done stumbled on a green skinned killer, his name is Ribby, getting jiggy, hit that PayPal and make us get busy, I'm feeling tipsy, too much whiskey, I'm cold copping cucks all the way to Dixie, on that chronic game, hola puniti, time to roll another joint. Maybe two more. Fuck around and fuck up the world tour. <laughs> Sponsor these beats at paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Now back to this blazing chick 
who wants to sit on it. 